Yes. Church say amen. amen. That church say amen. amen. The church is now called to walk. Let's give God some praise in this house. All oh, we can do better than that. Let's give God some praise in this house. I serve a living God. I say I serve a living God. I serve a living God. I serve a living God. So let's give God some praise in this house. We can get ready to have a celebration. Celebration. We can get ready to celebrate. Celebrate. We can get ready to have a celebration for 29 years. 29 years. 29. I say 29 faithful years right here at Corinth. For Dr. UC Bones and Dr. Gladys Bones. I say welcome, 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 St. Mary. Welcome into the house. Welcome to the celebration. Celebration. It's a celebration time. It's time to get ready to give God the praise. But well, we're going to celebrate while we give God the praise. As our mistress, as our mistress, as our mistress of ceremony get ready to come. As our mistress of ceremony get ready to come. Our facilitator will be Sister Lisa Easter. Amen.
Amen. Let's put our hands together. Let's put our hands together. Come on here. Let's shake it off. Let's put our hands together. Come on here. Let's give God some praise. Let's give God the praise in this house. Let's give God some praise. Let's praise his name. I tell you, let's praise his name. My sister Abby Lott. Amen. After that, we will have prayer given by Reverend Jermaine Wilkerson, and then I'll be back. Amen. Good evening. Good evening. Our scripture will be coming from Jeremiah. No, uh, Numbers 3. No, I'm sorry, Jeremiah 3 and 15. I'm sorry. Jeremiah 3 15. Just a second, I apologize. I need to get my glasses. I'm sorry. <laughs> And it says, I will give you pastures according to my heart, which shall, you, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. May the Lord have a blessing to the hearer, reading and doers of his holy word. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Dear Lord, Lord, we just thank you for allowing us to see another wonderful day today, Lord. Lord, we just thank you for allowing the visiting church today to drive here safely today, Lord. Lord, we thank you for all the glories and the mercies that you done give us, Lord. Lord, we ask you to have your way in this service today, Lord. Lord, we ask you to touch the ones that's scared to speak up for the Lord Jesus, Lord. Lord, we ask you to just move in this house right now, Lord. Touch every corner, every head, touch every feet in this, in this place today, Lord. I ask you right now, Lord. The ones that's bringing the word, give them preaching power today, Lord. Give them dunamis power, Lord. Lord, heal the ones that are lost today, Lord. That somebody may come crying, what must I do? Help me, Lord. Lord, we just thank you right now, Lord, for 29 years, Lord. For our pastor doing 29 years, Lord. Do you know that there's some people that ain't even seen 29 years, Lord. And we just thank you right now, Lord, for what you're doing right now in this place, Lord. Lord, we thank you today. And we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And amen.
giving by the armor bearers. Amen. Amen. Oh! 
wrong. But you got one more river. You still got the cross. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Let's get the Lord hands out of praise. Amen.
We will now have a special musical tribute. After that, we will have a ministry of giving given by uh, Minister Linnell Davis, Reverend Michael Easter Sr., and someone else. And that will be it. <laughs> Give them a hand. Let's give them. Still water. He restores my soul. See, when you become a believer, your spirit is made right. And sometimes the soul doesn't get the notice. It has a hole in it due to things that's happened in the past. But we want to speak to you and tell you that God wants to heal the hole in your soul. See, I have my sisters here, Sister Ola, Sister Nikki, and Sister Tasha. And they're gonna help share this wisdom. And ladies, I just want you to tell the story. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. All I seem to do is 
Come on and tell the Lord, thank you. Oh, y'all can ask you, thank you. Come on and tell God. Well, what's wrong with you? Come on and tell God, thank you. Be still. Deliver me, Lord. How many want the Lord to deliver me? How many want the Lord to deliver me? Deliver me. Come 
all mess with the wrong one right now. Amen. I know how to have church. I'm about up in the church. I don't care nothing how, how educated you are, how pretty you are, how you have made and fried to the side. I come to lift up the name of Jesus. The Bible said that every day.
you. God bless you in the house. Now I feel like your three o'clock coming is not in vain. Amen. I just feel like that. You hear me, Sister Easter? Yes, sir. Yeah, we're going to take this off or not. Yeah. Amen. I'm going to do it. And at the same time while we're doing the offering, uh, it's going to be the choir exchange. All right. Amen. 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 Then the next person you'll hear is an introduction of the speaker by Reverend Selman Bridges, Jr. Amen. Amen. All right. Now listen. Before you move. Before you move. It's celebrating time. Amen. 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 We come to give. We ought to be shouting when we talk about giving. Amen. But you got folks that shut up then. Now, ain't no Holy Ghost when they talk about giving. But if you're going to give, you ought to be saying, thank you, Jesus, right now. Come on and talk to me. Amen. I'm going to start off with 25 Amen. 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 I think I'm going to start with 25. <laughs> Deliver me. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Now, now, you see my ushers, they train. They ain't stumbling, they train. Amen. But I'm going to do something a little bit different. Amen. I want everybody to get $10 in your hand. $10. Amen. It costs 15 to get in the club. You go by Duke and Blue, you got to still pay some money. You can't be getting that back. Are oh, y'all ain't listening to me? Huh? And the day ain't late as sweet. Not the day. Y'all ain't listening to me. Number 40 drums and the guitars and piccolos getting going. I want everybody that got ten dollars in your hand to stand on your feet. I want you to stand on your feet. That you will sacrifice and give the Lord ten dollars. Come on and talk to me. Come on and talk to me. Amen. Now we done shout. When you shout, you got to pay. You ain't worshiping till you pay. Amen. Amen. Now somebody's gonna give 25. You're gonna give 25. You stand twice. Amen. 
I want you to come. I want you to come. It's a blessing in being obedient. Say amen. Yeah, it's a blessing in being obedient. Now I've got a Beyonce. They pay fifty dollars at the door and say, "You got any more? Do you want some more?" But we lifted up the name Jesus. Amen. 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 You don't have ten dollars, and you want to sacrifice and give nine dollars. <laughs> Anybody ever shop at in a juice store? When I was coming up, the soup be too big for you. Brother Daly, you know about this. And he'll walk up behind you. And he would grab you. The Jew would say, boy, that sure do fit. And he'd have a whole hand. <laughs> say amen. If you would sacrifice five dollars, would you stand wherever you are? You didn't have ten, but you would give five. I'm stand, stand, stand where you are. If you would sacrifice five dollars, would you stand? My son, stand. Look at him. Amen. I ain't mad with you. Bring it on. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on. You just come from Las Vegas. You know you got money. <laughs> if you can't enjoy the Lord, you're in the wrong business. Come on and say amen.
Thank you, Lord, for your blessing. Thank you for those that have sacrificed and give from the depths of their hearts. Now bless them. Bless them for the need they stand on. In Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody say amen. Say amen. So Stephen, thank you. Amen. All right. Y'all all be clapping for this choir. Thank you. Now don't y'all go home. I want y'all to get with his choir just like his choir got with us. Come on, say amen. amen. Thank you, the business God laid on my heart to ask Pastor Griggs, amen. I don't know what God is doing, but he laid on my heart to ask Pastor Griggs to become the Waco coordinator for the temporary or co-ed ministerial association. And anything on me, and there's a blessing in it. Yes, sir. Say amen. amen. And we're going to put that together. And we're going to have a Waco area, a Cameron area, and a Temple area, and a Colleen area. Say amen. amen. And God is doing great things amen. in this city. Yeah. Say amen. amen. God bless you, Sister Easter. It's your time. by St. Mary's Baptist Church. Amen. And then we'll have the proclamation of the good news from Pastor Gregory Griggs. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Let's just say amen. amen. Every round it takes us higher and higher in the Lord. How many is having a good time already? Amen. How many is having a blessed time already? Amen. Well, we're getting ready to go higher. You know, when, when Moses went up to, to Mount Sinai, he went up to get the word from God. So we're getting ready to go to the mountaintop. So we have one that has come all the way from Waco, Texas, to bring us the word of God. He's no stranger to us. He came to us last year, and, and he shook the building. And I'm sure he's going to shake the building one more time. So we're just glad to have him in the midst. He is one of God's preaching preachers. I said preaching preachers. Yes, teaching preachers. One who loves the gospel. And one who loves the Lord. He's one that God has ordained to do the ministry of Go ye to all the world, preach the gospel to each and every preacher. And them that believe and are baptized shall be saved. But if you don't believe, that's damnation for your soul. So he's preaching the, the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So let's get ready, get ready, get ready. Buckle up. Buckle up, buckle up. But well, we have one that's coming to bring us the word of God. He is a big man with a big gospel and a powerful gospel. I say he is a big man with a big gospel and a powerful gospel. Amen. So let us get ready to receive our speaker this evening. None other than Pastor Gregory Griggs from the St. Mary's Baptist Church, Waco, Texas. Let us have preached the word. Pastor Griggs. Hear ye, Pastor Griggs. Amen. Amen. Boy, we 
believe that a Holy Ghost time thus far. Amen. 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 We, we want to thank the Corinth Baptist Church and my good friend and brother, Pastor Ulysses Borns, Dr. Ulysses Borns, and Dr. Borns and Dr. Borns, and I would love to hear some of their conversations at home. I bet they're enriched with goodness. And two doctors talking, somebody got to be helped. Amen, amen. And, and you know, my aunt is here, and I'm blessed to have her. I'm Bobby Scott from Temple, and, and I want y'all to tell Pastor Charles Mays that one of his members came to hear. Amen, Pastor Greg. She's my aunt, elect, and well-loved, and I thank you for being here. And Bobby, would you stand? And please just let them see you. Amen. 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 Thank you for coming. Amen. And, and you know, I'm grateful and blessed of God to be here. I told my friends in, in Waco that I was coming to the pre-anniversary of Dr. Barnes, and man, that's an easy place to preach. And I will say this to you all that are here. I know what the 3 o'clock crowd is capable of. And, and I expect the 3 o'clock crowd to be the 3 o'clock crowd. Amen. And when I looked at the theme, and the theme was very interesting. And it said, you know, let me get it right. It said, honoring our pastor's spiritual knowledge and earthly understanding. Now, one thing that I can connect with is spiritual. All right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And the next thing I can connect with is earthly. Yeah. Amen. And a lot of folk can't separate spiritual and earthly. You know what I mean? So we have this treasure in earthen vessels and that's earthly. And so, you know what I want to talk about today? I want us to look at Romans chapter 7, verses 24 and 25. And I want to talk on the subject, and he calls himself a preacher. Right. Amen. And as our choir comes and do what God has put on their heart, after that we'll come back and we'll echo what God has given me to serve you all with. And all I need is a few amens. And We'll be all right from here on out. Amen? Amen. Amen. Amen.
three linked numbers and you know but you will turn in Romans chapter 7 we'll look at verse 24 and 25 and amen I thank God for the St. Mary Missionary Baptist Church. Amen. 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 Brother BJ, our musician, our chairman of Deacon Board is Brother Gavin Shelton, our ushers is Sister Karen Holmes, and they're all here and present. Thank you all. Amen. If you would stand, we won't take on. Romans chapter 7 says this, O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from this body of death? I thank God through Jesus Christ, our Lord, so then, with the mind, I myself serve the law of God, with the flesh, the law of sin. Amen. And he calls himself a preacher. I, I, I find this to be, you know, put together because when we look at church and we look at the, the, the leadership that God has placed in the church, we have the tendency to pass judgment on the man of God simply because he has spiritual knowledge with an earthly understanding. As long as we're talking spirituality and pumping us up with God's spirit to let us know that his presence is available unto us, then the church is overflowing with the spirit and there's clapping, there's singing, there's praises going up. But as soon as we come back down to ourselves, the man that we once hyped up to say he's doing the will and the word of God, we're now talking about his earthly walk. Because we don't understand, if I could help somebody right here, we don't understand that the man of God is just that. He's a man of God. And, and he, he, like everybody else, has some flaws that must be understood just like we all do. And, and one thing we forget is when we look at Acts chapter 9, you will find out where the writer of the book of Romans was suffering. He was given authority from Rome to go down and to basically persecute the church. And on his way, the Bible says it was at noonday while he was on the Damascus Road. The light shining brighter than the noonday sun knocked him off the animal he was riding and then called him by his uh, American name. Yeah, yeah. Listen to this. Saul, Saul, yeah, yeah. why persecute thou me? It's hard to kick against the bricks. Now, can I throw in some teaching right quick? Because we missed that. Remember I said his name in English. And if you look now, God never changed his name. Hello. He spoke his name in a different language. So Saul is Paul in Latin. Oh, I have to go further than that. See, Paul spoke 14 different languages like we speak English in profanity. Yeah. Which makes us bilingual. See, he spoke 14 different languages. Look at y'all. Some people try to I've been in church all my life. I'm 54 years old. I've been in church all my life. And I understand the ethnicity of black Christians. Hello, we have this earthly walk too. We just don't expect the preacher to have one. What I'm saying is that this is not the same Paul that was on the Damascus Road. Even though he was converted, he had to put some time in with God all by himself so he could get to where he was to the church in Rome. In chapter 1, he had to tell them that the gospel is real. Hello, somebody. And I'm not ashamed of the gospel, but it's the gospel that brought me to where I am. And it was given first to the Jews and now to the Greeks. In chapter 2, he tells us that there is none righteous. But Abraham abided by the scripture. And since he abided, he was counted unto righteousness. In chapter 3, he tells us, watch this, all you like sheep have gone astray. Oh, come on now. But the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. In chapter 4, he began to echo Psalms 32 and Psalms 40. He began to tell us that we're blessed because our sins and our iniquity has been forgiven of us. Y'all ain't going to help me here. I just wish I was in Bible country right here. And when we get to chapter 5, anybody familiar with chapter 5? Let me tell you what he tells us. He says it was by sin that one man brought this into earth. 
And then he said it was by salvation that one man took it out. In chapter 6, he begins to tell us that since we confess with our mouths and we believe in our hearts that Jesus is the Christ, we now receive salvation, but it's not okay for us to... Uh, 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 shall we continue in sin that grace may abide? God forbid. But when we get into chapter 7, he's preached so hard now that the people have begun to talk about him. Oh, come on now. You know how we can get... When we start telling each other what God expects of us, you think that I'm saying it to you for my expectations of you, as if God has no expectations for the preacher. And so he opens up this can of confession, and I ask preachers to always watch when you start talking about you. Because if you can't handle the backlash, you gotta keep your mouth shut. Because backlash is coming because people can't accept the fact that the pastor has an Achilles heel just like everybody else. That God has appointed us to positions and if you're in a position that God has not appointed you in, you can't do that job to God's satisfaction. Hello, we have to have appointed ushers to be the head. Appointed missionary sisters to be the president. Appointed choir members to be over the choir. And appointed deacon to be over the deacon board. And appointed blessed man to be over the finances. Because if you're not appointed by God to be in these positions, then you will fail in these positions because you are not appointed by God to be there. It goes the same with the preacher. God has called you, Jeremiah said, from your mother's womb before you were ever even formed. I had already called you to be a preacher. In the midst of your rascalism, God has still said that you are my elect man to deliver the word to my people. So gird up your loins and be strong and speak fiercely because I called you to do a mighty work. And, and, and soon, soon as we get to stand up and go to declaring the word of God, then the people want to talk about your past. As soon as we stand up and talk about what God is, oh, come on now. You really ready for me? You know, I like the way he wrote. You want me to tell you some stuff? For me to live is Christ and me to die is gain. That's good preaching and good teaching. Not that I speak in respect of want. For I've learned in whatsoever state I am, therewith to be content. Oh, for brethren, my heart's desire. And proud to God for Israel is that you might be saved. For you have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. And rather than accept this righteousness, you go on to establish your own righteousness. Right? For we know all things work together for the good of them who are called uh, and well, y'all want some whatsoever things are honest whatsoever things are just whatsoever things are poor whatsoever things are good report if there be any virtue and if there be any praise think on these you see how happy you got you see how the move just move and like you can't hardly take no more because you want to know what's next Okay, this is what's next when you look at chapter 7. The good that I would do, I do not. That that I shouldn't be doing, I find myself doing. And that should I should not be. Uh, uh, so that I find in the law, that I find a war going on inside of my mind. Oh, come on now. A war is on. Whenever you see me, it's a fight on the inside of me. Whenever I stand up, it's a fight going on inside of me. And how do you know which man will win? Because the two men that they spoke up in chapter 5 is always prevalent in your spirit. One that will cause you to sin and one that wants to set you free of the sin. Then we can hello somebody. Ooh, that Negro is talking in here. That wants to set you free from the sin that you will commit. So he says, since the fight is going on, when you see me tiptoe, because there ain't no telling who's winning. Uh, 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 oh, come on down. When you see me walk light, because I am calm, but because of you, I just might fall. Uh, uh, help me somebody. Because in me, there's a fight going on. In animation, I remember when we were kids and we look at Popeye the Sailor Man. 
And one thing I liked about Popeye is whenever Brutus or the goons or whoever, the grudges, the buzzers, were messing with Pompa, especially, I mean Popeye, especially about that little woman, Olive Oil, I, I, I never understood the type of women that Popeye was into. And, because I didn't see nothing that would push me out of his way. But, but, but if he would have had this thing for olive oil. And, and whenever Brutus would step in and try to take his little woman, whatever would come up, he would utter these words, that's all I can stand. And I can't stand no more. That was at the time that I realized that Popeye was going to do something out of the ordinary. He was going to get up on that spinach and make things happen in a different way. Every now and then, all y'all are going to bring it out of me. But it's all I can stand. And I can't stand no more. I run through the garden of God's grace. And I pick up on some things that blessed are the pure in heart. For they shall see God. Ye are the light of the world. A city that sits on a hill and cannot be hid. For God requires of me to do just and to love mercy and to walk humbly with thy God. And when I get full of the word of God, I begin to take things that I couldn't take because I realize that God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly more than we can think, ask, or imagine. So when I get a belly full of what the devil has to offer me, I call on the Lord and I don't be hesitant to tell him, it's me, Lord, Standing in the need of prayer, not my mother, not my father, not my sister, not my brother, but Lord, this is all I can stand, and I can't stand no more. So Paul says this, when I get to that point, if I know sin and discouragement and interruption of God's plan, when I look at you, when I look at me, the mirror, I'm capable of seeing those same elements in me. So when I look at me and I see you, when I look at me and I want to act like you, I say, boy, I'm almost through here. Because when I look at me and I talk like you, when I look at me and I say what you say, when I look at me and I do what you do, I thank God for this. Because I offer up immediate confession to God who's able to keep me from falling. And since he can keep me from falling, I know I've never failed. But I own wretched man that I am. Lord, I thank you that you have something available to me to fill the cracks in my life to make me suitable for you. Oh, wretched man. Oh, wretched man that I am. Who? Uh, well, you, you're not understanding this right now. Ain't no sense of me continuing to wear myself out, popped and done all that. I preached this morning, and I can't take no more of this. So I'm going to go and let these people have it. Oh, wretched man that I am. I know I basically have some things in my life that you talk about in mission. Oh, wretched man that I am. I know that as you stand at the door and I walk by, you say things like, there he go. Oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from this body of sin? I thank God. Wait a minute, you missed it. I thank God. I ain't talking about my mother that birthed me. I thank God for Jesus Christ who shall be, who will be, who is Say, 
somebody ought to just put those hands together and preach it. I told you that was my friend. Amen. Didn't I tell you that was my friend? Amen. Preaching, preaching. Mm -hmm. Amen. God is blessed. I've known him a long time, long time, long time. I've known him. He's been a preacher all his life. In fact, I know his uncle. Amen. He used to cut my hair. Eight days. Amen. Oh, y'all ain't listening to me. Eight days used to have me looking pretty good. <laughs> Back in the day, amen, when the, he was down there on the corner. Amen. amen. I used to add, what, two barber chairs. And him and Mr., what was his name? Huh? Anderson, that's it. Him and Mr. Anderson. Amen. Was in that chair. And they there would cut my hair. And uh, I thought I was looking pretty good too. I used to wear what they call what they call a Julius Caesar. <laughs> Y'all call it a fade now. See how things change? Them that got hair. Most of them bald head. And it ain't from age either. Amen. Ain't nothing wrong with being, I pray I live long enough to be bald head. It's still started, don't, don't fool yourself now. Yeah. yeah, ain't much grass like that. I'm about to look like LC. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. God bless. How many enjoyed the work today? Didn't we have a time? Amen. These musicians went plumb crazy over there. It's better to rain leader. Yeah, she stir them up. She know what they're doing. Praise the Lord. Say amen. And surely they be climbing together. They, they. But it's all right to climb, climb for the Lord. We climb enough for the devil, then. Amen. I'm, I'm just prolonging it to Sister uh, Easter. Sister Issa just buried her brother-in-law yesterday. Amen, in Brenham, Texas. And uh, I was still fired up from yesterday and this morning. Amen. She had good preaching this morning also. Amen. I'm going to ask one of them to read the program for Tuesday night. Come on. For remarks, give me Pastor. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Barnes. Thank you, Amar, for remarks. My part of the remarks. Uh, remarks. I'm the president of the Armor Bears, and the Armor Bears, uh, we kicked off the 29th, the 29th celebration. The Armor Bears. Would the Armor Bears please stand? I think we have a few, we have a few Armor Bears in the house, but I think the majority of them are in the back in the place ready to eat. Amen. Amen. Armor Bears, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I want to thank everyone that, that, that was on program. What a, what a program, what a program, what a program. What a program, thank everybody, thank everybody. Because without you, there would be no program. Without you, there would be no program. There would be no program. There would be no program. Be no program. And, I'm, and I want to uh, send a special thanks out to Pastor Greaves. Uh, Bless you, bless you. Thank you for thank you, thank you, Saint Mary, for allowing us to hear the y'all pastor on the day. Thank you, Saint Mary. 
Thank you. What a word. What a word from heaven. What a word from heaven. What a word from heaven. Pastor Griggs, thank you. Thank you, man. Y'all thought you preached last year. You showed up. Preach this year. I mean, I thought you were on point last year. But like every round goes higher and higher, man. Turn the day. Man, we got a pastor, though. No, no, we got a pastor. We got a pastor. We got a pastor been here 29 years. So, 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 don't come in with that funny noise. Now, we got a pastor. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to let you know, we got a first lady, a first lady and a pastor. Two doctors. Two doctors. You know there's some healing going on in Korea. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Bones and Dr. Gregory Bones. Amen. St. Mary, St. Mary, we love y'all. Thank y'all for coming. Thank you for visiting us. I see Mount Zion here. I see Mount Zion. Thank all of y'all for coming. Thank all of y'all. Thank all of y'all. But the celebration don't stop here. The celebration just begun. For on, on Tuesday night, on Tuesday night, November the 5th, at 645, will be the evangelical night. Where, where, where the speaker will be Pastor George E. Fagan from the Beth I.M. Church. And, and, and the one that's sponsoring that is my good friend, Reverend Samuel Bridges. We'll be the chairperson of, of Tuesday night. On Tuesday night, Reverend Selman Bridges will be the chairperson. And then on the 7th, on the 7th, on that Thursday night at 6.45 p.m., we got family and friends night. And the speaker will be Pastor W.E. Robinson from the Macedonia Baptist Church. And Sister Abby Lott will be our chairperson for that one. Sister Abby Lott, she's in the kitchen getting her place ready. Amen. Amen. Then on Friday night, on Friday night, on the 8th at 6.45, be the Temple Co-Ed Ministerial, uh, Ministerial Night as long as with the Lincoln District. The Lincoln District. Uh, he, he is a moderator. And, 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 and we don't want to override that. Not only is he a pastor, but he's the moderator of Lincoln District. And Lincoln District will be here Friday night. Friday night, Friday night, Friday night, this Friday night, at 6 45, the, uh, the speaker will be Pastor Gary Taylor from the Victory Baptist Church. Amen. Then, on the 10th, next Sunday, next Sunday, next Sunday, mark your calendar down for next Sunday. You can come and join us all day long. We're going to have a time. We're going to have a time right here at Corinth, starting at 11 o'clock. My good friend, all the way from Mississippi, all the way from Mississippi. I say he's all the way from Mississippi. He'll be here. He will be here all the way from Mississippi. He's going to preach Sunday morning. Sunday morning, we're going to have the sip in the house. Mississippi, he's all the way from Mississippi. I tell you, he's, he'll be here. I, I'm almost for sure he'll be here. I talked to him earlier. He'll be here Sunday morning, all the way from Mississippi at 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock, my good friend, Reverend Selman Bridges, will be preaching on Sunday morning, all the way from Mississippi. I say he's from Mississippi. It's good to be from away from Mississippi, but he's going to preach. Sunday morning at 11 o'clock. And he can preach. And he will preach. Amen. Amen. That's my friend. That's my friend. Then, then at 3 o'clock, at 3.30 p.m., the 29th anniversary celebration, where we're going to come and bring it all together. We're going to bring it all together at 3.30 next Sunday for the 29th appreciation service. The speaker will be Pastor Dr. Charles Edward May and the Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church will be here at 3.30 next Sunday. I'm giving the invitation out to everybody. Come on to the celebration. Come on to the celebration. 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 We're going to celebrate. We're going to have a good time in the Lord. Amen. I think that's all my remarks I need, Pastor. Amen.
stuff that I don't want to share with him, I leave it in the truck. <laughs> yeah. But I want to thank you all for your kindness and your generosity that you've shown on the day. Because, you know, you don't have to be nice. You don't, you don't have to be nice. And one thing I learned in life is most people won't be. So therefore, when you find people who are, you make sure you say thank you. And, and thank you for your hospitality and your treatment. To all the brothers that have labored in Alma Bear to make sure everything was all right, thank you all. And to my elite friend, I knew this doctor was tough. When I came in, and he started posing. And I looked down and he had on red shoes. <laughs> All the way from Mississippi. <laughs> oh my God. Doc, you're a friend and a friend indeed. And anything I can do to help or to, you know, enlighten or just, just to walk along the way with you, I'd be more than, you know, delighted and excited to do it. And thank you for always including me. Anyway, did you hear how you, this guy here must be on Flintstones on steroids. <laughs> If I had all that kind of energy, boy, I could really do something. Yeah. He was just giving remarks. Imagine how he preaches and get caught up in the spirit. He can't handle that. I was out of like, all the way from Mississippi. But I thank you for your hospitality and everything. And you know, brother, just keep on keeping on. You, you'll get on. You'll be like that energizer buddy. One day you'll slow. You'll slow. <laughs> But I thank you for everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. 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 I am. I am. That little bit happy. Amen. I'm certainly thankful for all of you that have shared and come. And thank you. God for every armor bear. Amen. Amen. Every armor bear that that's around. been in armor bear one and armor bear two. And most folks, all armor bears know what that is. Terry Nance has a book out. Terry Nance has a book out. How to be an armor bear. And every church member ought to get that book. It'll open your vision about your leader. Amen. And so, when I got that book 25 years ago, ain't about me. When I got that book 25 years ago, guess who gave it to me? Dr. Charles Edward Mays. And he said, read this man. And I got the book and I read it. And I said, wow. By Terry Nance. Good book, good book. Thank you, thank you. Amen, thank you. Thank you, Brother President. He carries a 457 weapon on him. That's why I was trying to pull your shirt. <laughs> he worked for the police department. <laughs> If you can't enjoy church, where can you go? Say amen. Amen. Sometimes we get so sanctified and holy, we can't even smile. I don't want to read around people that can't enjoy the Lord. Amen. And enjoy one another. If we can't enjoy one another, what are we doing in church? Come on and talk to me. That make good sense to you. Amen. Thank you. 
Uh, the reason I'm hoping you the Cowboys ain't playing. <laughs> Ain't nobody got up and left for that. St. <laughs> Mary's, thank you for coming with your pastor. I want to share this. We want everybody to get a plate. Amen. And we want St. Mary to eat first, and we're going to get right behind you. Because whatever you don't eat, we will. <laughs> Trust me, I am needing today. Amen. I take that, I don't want to lie. My, my preacher brought me a, oh, that you brought me, Mike. What, oh, yeah. What you bring me, Mike? You know he got my glasses on. <laughs> he brought me a little sandwich this morning. And uh, his sandwich was good. And I, I, I ate the whole thing, but that was this morning. You see, the spirit don't stay with you always, Brother Fletcher. Every once in a while, you, you got a human side. You got. I'm gonna look. I want. I don't want to look like him, but I want to be kind of healthy. I believe if I get healthy like him, I'll be able to preach like him. I ain't never seen a Negro remember that many scriptures in my life. It's a walking encyclopedia. What you got here? Isn't that all right? I think we ought to give Sister Lisa Easter a hand for uh, facilitating. Uh, and uh, the voices of Korean. Now, whenever you get a Keela with us and sing, Sister Akila was up there. I said, look at that. In harmony. Thank y'all for your tribute. Uh, all of you and Tasha and, and all of y'all that was leading that thing. That's one of my good songs. Church, we're going to have to go that way. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And we are to reach those that need to reach them. Thank you. God bless you. And God keep you. Thank you, Tats. And thank you, uh, my son. J J yeah. Jamal. You. Football player. Ursus, yeah. so Steve, you got them on point. You and Brother Humphrey, y'all know, know how to do, don't you? And I want to thank you for the great offering y'all gave. Amen. Say amen. God bless you and God keep you. I remember, I'm going to tell you the story when I'm going home. Got them old rolls on. Let me tell you what my son did to me when he was living. One Christmas, he said to me, he said, Daddy? I said, yeah. He said, all I want for Christmas is some overall. I said, are you serious? He said, yeah, all I want for Christmas is some overall. I said, well, you, he said, well, well I, I, I want a shirt too. Okay. He said, I, and I want some sneakers. <laughs> I said, I'm right. And you know, when I was buying sneakers, they were $7.99. Yeah. <laughs> he said, get me a cap, would you? I said, sure. I said, that's all you want? He said, that's all I want, Daddy. That's when Cox is in Waco. You remember Cox is my dad? Coxes in Waco was right down Vladimir Drive and Waco Drive. I took him in the Coxes. See, get you some overalls. <coughs> overalls cost $80. <laughs> 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 and
and them shoes were $200. That's when they was wearing British night. Y'all remember British night? Amen. And I saw my brother in the road. I thought about my son in the overalls at that time. I used to wear overalls all the time. Ain't nothing wrong with it, brother. I love them. Amen. Same. And in fact, I got a fan. I'm going to strut them too. <laughs> I ain't, I'm old, but I ain't too old yet. Let's go on. Come on. God, we thank you, we're grateful, we're thankful for all that's been done and said. We thank you for this church family coming, visiting, and sharing with us today the word of God. Thank you for the fellowship and the camaraderie that we have together. And then God, don't let us have no big eyes and little you. We are in this together to try to reach the kingdom that you have put before us. We thank you for the food that's been prepared for us, for the nourishments of our bodies, spiritually and physically. Let it be where it will give us the growth in Christ. Now to him that is able to keep us from falling, present us before the throne of grace, all wise and ever loving and God. And the church said, Amen. 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 Be blessed.